I'll take juvenile justice for 100. Their interaction with police has been minimal. So when they do have an interaction, there's that fear of the unknown, right? And a lot of times their reactions are defensive. Juvenile justice jeopardy is a twofold game. At first, hoping to build better relationships with youth and police. And also improve uh, youth knowledge around not only their rights, but about different behaviors and how they can keep themselves safe. It's a way to de-escalate a simple officer interaction to prevent a young person from becoming just another statistic. I don't really know much about the law, so I think that it's good to know more. Volunteers were taught the game by Lanny Orr. Police and volunteers played a practice round with teens at the Boys and Girls Club in South Omaha. You know, I'm not going to talk to the cops or I'm going to be violent. They're disrespecting me. I'm going to disrespect them back. But it's just that lack of interaction, I believe, it's what causes that friction. I've never had encounter with the law either, but I feel slightly intimidated. That intimidation is what the game pushes to remove. By teaching the do's and don'ts while talking with police, no quick movements, no talking on the phone, be respectful, take your hands out of your pockets. I think that it's to help avoid uh, having more teenagers going in the wrong path and being more um, aware of the laws. That's the ultimate win. In Omaha, Waverly Monroe, KETV Newswatch 7.